அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு சதீஷ் சயின்ஸ் டீச்சர் யூடியூப் சேனல் இஃப் யூ ஆர் விசிட்டிங் ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் இன் திஸ் யூடியூப் சேனல் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் திஸ் சேனல் அண்ட் டூ ஷேர் வித் யுவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் டோன்ட் ஸ்கிப் எனி வேர்ட் இன் த மிடில் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ ஸோ லெட் சி டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி தி புக் பேக் எவால்வேஷன்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் எயிட் சயின்ஸ் புக் யூனிட் அண்ட் சேஞ்சஸ் அரவுண்ட் அர்ஸ் so this is a concept map for the lesson so changes around us so what are the factors that related to this topic is contacts solution of reactants electricity heat light and catalyst so these are the factors that can involve in the changes that are happened around us so the contact so say example contact means there is a physical contact between the heat object and cold object and the solutions of reactants and the electricity electricity also causing some of the uh, changes around us so if you want to burn to the any of the papers or even the dead bodies the electricity is also used and the heat heat is used to convert some of the uncooked food into cooked food and the heat also convert the wood raw wood material into the burnt so in that way the light also plays a vital role uh, the light is one of the factor that happens uh, even in the day time in the plants that leads to photosynthesis so catalyst is nothing but the some of the factors it may be the physical or chemical or biological that enhances the reactions which is happening frequently in the world that is catalysts so biological fact effects so spoilage of food the spoilage of food means the foods are get spoiled so that leads to the not suitable for edible and rancidity of fish and meat so these also caused by the biological effects some of the bacteria or virus they can decompose the fish and meat and fruits turning brown if you cut the vegetables like banana or apple or amla then the cut out area is is color changed into brightly brown color so that is the biological effects and next one is environmental effects the pollution of environment so as you know the unwanted materials that are added continuously to the environment is the pollution such type of things that is not needed or that is not very good to the environment is the pollutant so rusting of iron is one of the example and tarnishing of the metal articles and the other one is other effects are production of heat production of light and production of pressure so these are the sub headings that are covered by this book under the heading of changes around us okay let's see the book pack evaluations so first we will see the choose the best answer section burning of paper is a dash change so burning of paper is a chemical change because when you once the paper get burnt all the things are converted into carbonated materials and next second one burning of match stick is an example for chemical reaction caused by contact in physical states because when you scratch the match stick so there is a physical contact between the match box surface and the match stick so this is a contact in physical states and the third one dash undergoes rusting so tin sodium copper they never undergoes the rusting only the iron particles undergoes the rusting so the option d i is the correct answer the pigment responsible for browning of apple is melanin melanin is the mel- uh, one of the cell sorry one of the pigment that can cause the coloration so if the man uh, with the high deeply black color skin then his skin has more number of melanin pigments so in the same way the pigment is responsible for browning of apples also so brine is a concentrated solution of dash so brine is nothing but the sodium chloride so some of the animals live in the highly concentrated uh, sea water then they are known as brine animals say example brine shrimp so example is brine shrimp so brine is a concentrated solution of sodium chloride and limestone contains dash mainly so limestone contains calcium carbonate mainly which of the following factor induces electrolysis electrolysis when you split the two uh, electrolysis into two words 
electro plus lysis so lysis is the separation electro means electricity so when you apply the electricity it leads to lysis of any substance so definitely which of the following effect induces electrolysis electricity Haber's process of producing ammonia is used as a catalyst idile vandu edu catalyst na iron and the ninth question dissolved gases like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides in rain water causes acid rain dash is or responsible for global warming so global warming the answer for this question is carbon dioxide option a and also the global warming is caused by chlorofluorocarbons so but here they never give the options of combinations so the answer is carbon dioxide and the next one is fill in the blank section photosynthesis is a chemical reaction that takes place in the presence of sunlight iron objects undergo rusting when exposed to water and oxygen ammonia is a basic material to manufacture urea electrolysis is a of brine solution gives chlorine and hydrogen cl stands for chlorine and h stands for hydrogen gases so chlorine and hydrogen catalyst is a chemical substance which alters the speed of a chemical reaction so catalyst is nothing but the converter of chemical reaction so if the if the, some of the chemical reactions are happening very very slowly in that time if the scientists or if the producers want to increase the speed of that chemical reaction they add some chemicals or they give some heat to the process then the they are known as catalyst so catalyst is a chemical substance which alters the speed of a chemical reaction tyrosinase is the enzyme responsible for browning of vegetables and fruits actually the melanin pigment is responsible for the responsible for the coloration of apples and amla cut when you cut it this melanin pigments contains a enzyme the name of that enzyme is polyphenol oxidase it is otherwise known as tyrosinase So tyrosinase is the enzyme responsible for browning of vegetables and fruits. Next one is say true or false. If false, correct the statements. A chemical reaction is a temporary reaction. False. Decomposition of a lead nitrate is an example for a chemical reaction caused by light. True. Formation of a slaked lime from quick lime is an endothermic reaction. False because it is a purely exothermic reaction. CFC is a pollutant true CFC is nothing but the chlorofluorocarbon which is frequently used in the refrigerators and coolants light energy may come out due to chemical reactions too because when you when you ignite the matchstick or the candle then you will get the light from them so the light energy may come due to the chemical reactions it is a true statement match the following <coughs> sorry rusting rusting happening only in the iron substances so iron electrolysis electrolysis is nothing but the brine sorry happening in the brine so when you apply the electric uh, electricity into the brine solution then you, you will get chlorine and hydrogen gases because of the process of electrolysis thermolysis thermolysis means the temperature leads to lysis of anything so decomposition of limestone so the, when you are uh, apply the heat into the limestone then it gets decomposed so this process is known as thermolysis and the next one is food food is nothing but the photosynthesis so photosynthesis is a process in which the plants can produces the food from water in the presence of sunlight next one is catalysis catalysis is nothing but the haber's process so haber's process there is a catalysis okay <clears throat> and next one is spoilage spoilage means it's get to just spoiled so the food gets spoiled ozone ozone is nothing but the oxygen because when oxygen when you combine the three oxygens or naturally the oxygen is combined into three oxygen molecules that that is the name of the ozone so the ozone contains three oxygen molecules and tarnishing tarnishing is nothing but the chemical reaction yeast yeast is a back bio catalyst when you add this example when you add the yeast to the dough the rice dough then the rice dough gets fermented adha the arsi maavula nam yeast add pannum bodhu adu pulichu poyirudhu so inga vandu yeast dhaan oru bio catalyst nam pulicha da idli seiyamudhu illaingala calcium 
oxide calcium oxide is nothing but the decomposition process so that's all about this laser look back evaluations so thanks for listening without any break so if you are visiting first time in this youtube channel please do not forget to subscribe this channel and do share with your friends and do some comments in the comment box also so pakkathla iruka bell icon click pannikeenga appo da enoda ella videos me chat nu ungala vandu serum so all the best for your competitive examinations thanks for listening thank you